everyone and welcome. This is Chloe with Cousin DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bunny rabbit wreath using our grapevine wreaths and wooden beads and some white loop yarn. Very simple, but a fun project to make. So I'm going to set up and I'll be right back and we can get started. We'll be using a 12 inch grapevine wreath and a 10 inch. And the first thing you're going to want to do is take your wire cutters or any cutters, and we're gonna go all the way around and just cut off any loose or protruding uh, pieces of grapevine because we'll be wrapping yarn snugly around both of these wreaths. This will save you a lot of work in the long run. Okay, now that we may have to trim a little more as we go along, uh, let's start with the larger beef. I have uh, three skeins of yarn here and what I've done is uh, I've, re I've rolled the, the yarn into a ball to make it easy to bring, because it's got to wrap around and around and around each grapevine wreath. So this way it'll just roll right off, makes it much easier. So to start, uh, this is the 12 inch wreath. I'm just gonna bring one loop through the wreath like, like that. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping. Now, when you wrap, you wanna make sure that the loops are standing away from the wreath as much as possible and you want to wrap real snugly uh, and close to the previous wrap. So if you see what I'm doing, I'm, I'm kind of holding these loops back with my hand as I bring the next, next one around and then I'm going to do the same thing so that the loops will be popping off the wreath to give the effect that we want. And as you go, you want to make sure that your grapevine wreath is not showing through. So I'm just going to um, go around and around and I'll probably run out of yarn before I get to the other end. So then I'll just add more yarn and I'll keep going. Okay, now that we've made our way around the wreath, I'm going to go one more time here and just double check before I cut anything off to make sure that my wreath isn't showing through in any spot. And so now I'm going to cut and I'm going to figure out how to tie this so it won't be noticeable. Just kind of stick it through a loop. And do it again. Let me try that differently. I'm gonna bring that all the way through there. And then back around and then I'm going to poke it back through the grapevine wreath like so. And you can see a little bit of the grapevine wreath there so I'm just going to manipulate 
but before we put the wreath together, we're going to determine which will be the front and the back, and we'll choose the best side. Okay, now we're on to the 10 inch wreath. We'll do the same thing, but when we get to the end, we're going to leave a long tail. Okay, at this point, we have a bit of a tail left. So now I am going to join the two wreaths together. Of course, the smaller one is the head. And the larger one is the body. And so we're just going to like, um, bring the, this yarn down and around and kind of blend it in with the previous wrapped yarn so you can't really tell <laughs> where we've joined these. Of course, we want this to be nice and secure. If we run out of yarn, we can always cut another little length and wrap more, but I think we might, we might luck out. Okay, we want this to be nice and snug and tight. And then we're gonna tie it. I'm gonna pull it through a loop And I'm going to try to fish it down through two sections of the wreath. And I'm going to use the end of the cutters just to press it down in there. And that looks pretty, pretty secure and sturdy. Now the next thing you want to do is take a look at your both wreaths and if you find any pieces of grapevine sticking through, you want to cut them off. Be, care be sure you don't cut the yarn. Like that spot right there. And then you want to choose which side you want to be the front of your wreath. So I want, I am going to cut this, but I definitely think I want this to be the front of my wreath. So this is what we have so far. The next step is to make the ears. Now to make the ears. I've cut two one yard lengths of our 20 gauge green paddle wire. And uh, after I cut it, I take my hands and I just run my hands to kind of smooth it out, um, get all the little wrinkles and bends out of it. And then we're going to uh, wire on 35 wooden beads onto each wire for each ear. We have um, 70 wooden, natural wooden beads in our pack. So we're gonna do half on one and half on the other. Okay, and then we're going to 
bring those beads into the middle of this wire. So they're nice and snug in the middle. And then at this point, I'm going to twist the base together to hold them together. And needle nose pliers can come in handy for this. And then I'm going to bring one over the other until I'm ready to wire that on to the head. I'm going to go ahead and do the other ear. Next, we're going to attach these ears to our head. And so you want them to be somewhat symmetrical, of course. So let's play around with this a little bit. If we put one here and we're going to snake this wire down between some rows of yarn. Let's see how that one would look there. And this one, just play around with this until we get them positioned where we want them. that looks pretty symmetrical. Okay, and at this point, we can always change it if we find out we want to reposition them later. But at this point, we're just going to wrap the two ends of wire in opposite directions around the base of the wreath. Trying to make sure that it's hidden in between all the yarn. just leave those loose for the moment and we'll do the same thing here. Before I trim the ends of the wire I want to make sure I like where they're positioned. And I do. So I'm just going to twist those ends together and push them or bend them down towards the base and snip with my wire cutters. And I'll do the same over here. There, and last but not least, I need to turn on my hot glue gun and we'll glue the faux flowers in place. I'm gonna heat up my glue gun and I'll be right back. Now that my glue gun is all heated up, we're ready to, for the final step, which is to attach these faux flowers. These happen to be felt flowers that I found, but you could use plastic flowers, uh, any artificial flower, or even make bows. 
if you have ribbon, um, and attach those to the middle of your bunny. In this case, I want to make sure that I put a generous amount of glue and I get the center of the back down inside the loops of the yarn so they're nice and secure and they won't fall off. So first is to position them where you want them. And I want mine about like that. So we'll start with this one. And I'm gonna put a generous amount of hot glue right there. And press that down in between the loops. So this one's like a deep pink and this one's more of a coral. And this one's a light pink. We'll put that right there. And the last step would be to hang your wreath. Uh, we have this nice heavy duty gold door hanger that works nicely with this wreath. Ta-da! I know you can't see it very well. Let me see if I step back if you get the idea. If you make your own bunny wreath, we'd love to see it. You can share it with us on Instagram at hashtag create with cousin. Until next time, take care. See you soon. Bye.